Gang. What's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly update. Um, this week was a very interesting week. Um, so this week I'm trying to show you some clips from my lower B day and also my push A day. It's a little combination of both. So this week was um, a very interesting week because following through Chinese New Year, um, my nutrition has been very off for the last, I would say the week, the week, week and eight days, nine days. But um, it was off because there was a lot of New Year's Eve dinner, um, a lot of uh, festivities, my birthday, and um, Super Bowl. And the crazy thing was after the Super Bowl, somehow Maggie and I, we both had a stomach bug. And we were actually like having um, an upset stomach for like, I would say like a week. And you know, it was tough because we couldn't really hold food down. But the crazy thing was um, I was able to go to the gym still and I was able to progress throughout the whole entire week. So pretty much I went to every session. Um, I did take an extra rest day because one day my stomach just, I just felt very drained. And I noticed that at work, I felt very um, exhausted from losing a lot of fluid. So my macros tracking was definitely off. Um, I was eating a surplus, just that the makeup of the calories weren't um, as great. So as you can see, I was able to bump up the weight in almost all exercises. And it was really great because I was able to push my legs a lot harder. Um, as you can see, um, the power squat, power squat bar, um, the last time I did this, I did five plates tops and I actually move up to five plates and a quarter on each side for two sets. Um, overall, I was very pleased. Um, just being able to push while um, not feeling at my optimum best. Now, rest was also kind of, um, wasn't at best, but it's something I can always improve on. And one thing I did notice was like my physique was, it's getting, it's getting denser, but uh, I think the, by not tracking for like a week straight and just eating the surplus, um, I did lose some, I would say tissue, um, hardness, but you know, when you're actually in off season, it's, it's part of the game, you know, um, I, one thing I really learned about this experience is that, you know, you don't always have to look as lean as possible. Um, of course, that's always going to be the goal, right? The goal is always to be look at your optimal best to put yourself in the best position to win. But um, however, um, I always find myself enjoying life. Like I like have I'm a guy with um, good balance, and I I know right now there's some people that preaches balance, and some people preaches being hardcore. Um, to me, balance is very important. Um, you know, I think there's a time to really step it up a notch and there's also a time for you to really just pull back and enjoy the here and now and you know it was the last year i couldn't really get to enjoy chinese new year because i was in contest prep i couldn't enjoy my birthday but this year i was able to really enjoy everything and no regrets you know training is fun i'm in a sweet spot right now where i'm gaining muscles i'm getting a little bit fluff you know i'm able to eat food and still progress throughout the lifts that's the most important thing progression right so as you can see um, hack squats are moving up as well after a heavy power squat so that's always a good sign and um, my goal there was the last two days where my stomach did get better and I did started tracking more calories meaning one thing I noticed about myself is that um, my body was really going flat because I was like you know not holding food down although I was eating a lot I think because if I wasn't like you know using the bathroom a lot I think I would have gained more weight but there was like a balance because I was using the bathroom a lot but I was also eating a lot so one thing I wanted to do was to make sure that I hit my carbs because one thing I wanted was to really fill out um, my body with the carbs and more fluid um so I'm gonna be honest with you guys water intake has not been the best throughout the week um, you know, but I'm picking up the last few days has been better. Um, as you can see with leg press, I'm working five plates right now and I did move up to five plates and a quarter. Um, to many people that might not be a lot, but for me, what I try to really focus on is the tension, the my muscle connection. And right now I feel like with, for five plates, I'm really feeling comfortable because I remember during prep four plates was like the starting point for me, but now I can really start with five plates. So, you know very happy with that and i definitely feel my glutes um although it's kind of jello but um 
what I'm doing is I'm seeing myself in the long run. And in the long run, I do see a bigger, bigger glutes. Um, I do see hamstrings, um, quads, the fullness. And I'm trying to retain, retain most of the fullness I have and add more to it. So that's always going to be my goal whenever I train legs to really build my calves up as well. Um, arms looking pretty good. Um, I must say, um, arm training has been very fun. And as you know, many of my old subscribers and new subscriber, um, something about me in the past is that I don't really like training arms for some reason. But recently, ever since contest prep, I've been really enjoying arms more. Like I actually see them grow and uh, even my chest is growing you know at a slower rate of course but um at the end of the day i'm going to talk more about that when i move into the chest date um after the leg press we're going to move into my leg extensions here i really just try to really um get that pump in the blood and surprisingly the last few sessions um i've been able to bump up the weight the starting weight a little bit more so um it took a while if you guys noticed this is probably like week i would say like week five and I train everything, every body part pretty frequent. So it took some time for me to really bump up the weight, which is okay because um, remember what I said, like a lot of practice will lead to better progression, right? So here, the, seat, the seated leg curls um, definitely went up in these as well. Felt very controlled. Um, I was able to contract a lot, hitting like 180 pounds. Um, again, I really like this machine. Um, I do like stiff-legged deadlifts as well um i feel like that's my bread and butter for my glutes and hamstrings but um you know one thing about me is that i learned from chris is i'm trying to rotate more exercises but i'm not trying to be different like i'm trying to change a few exercises um just to keep things simple because i don't want to be too um complicated because when you're too complicated you, it's harder to progress so here's my um working set from push a as you can see um the last few times my final two sets were 80 pounds and I was able to start with the 80 pounds this time and as you can see um, very controlled the temple um, and I look just a little bit more um, even and something for you guys to real remember is that in the past for me um, I'm quick I'm always pretty slanted because of my shoulders but I've been really happy and proud of actually how I've been progressing through this so as you can see second set um, moved to 85 pounds um, very control still I'm able to arch my chest and back a little bit more um, one thing I noticed in the video I can arch it a little bit more just to activate more pecs but um, again as you can see I'm pretty controlled pretty stable and um, that's always a win for me because um, I try to look for ways to progress not just by weight but like you know different variables and as you can see that was much controlled and I'm definitely happy with that Next movement, um, OHP. I've been incorporating these on my push A movements, and it's been harder because I push myself with the flat dumbbells. So by the time I get through, um, get to the OHPs, I can't go as heavy because um, I used to hit multiple sets of doubles or triples, and I can overload the weight more. But now I'm trying to hit minimum of six reps and a maximum of ten reps. So what happened is that. Um, I had to look, decrease the weight and just really work on feeling the movement. And I started off at um, with almost with 40 pounds each side. So I was very close. Um, I remember my, this is my fourth set and I did hit a set for a plate. And I was so happy because I haven't touched a plate on OHP ever since I started this block. And as you can see, look how controlled it is. And, you know, just over the head, um, no swing too much. And, I'll, you know, I'm just hoping to keep the momentum going, especially for, especially for my shoulders. As you can see, the fluff is there, but I could definitely see some um, muscle tissue underneath. And for me, I'm a guy that sits more comfortable at, around this body fat. Um, just being in the teens, just feeling human. And I can honestly say, um, in this time of my bulk, my surplus, I feel human. Um, my face is kind of gaining a little bit of weight. But it's normal because, um, you know, I was so used to the skeleton face from prepping that sometimes I have to be here now. And just how I enjoyed having a skeleton face, I have to enjoy being human again. And right now, I typically walk around the mid-170s just like this, comfortable. But my goal is to not stay at the 170. My goal is to really push because I haven't been in a surplus for a long time. And the goal is to really keep pushing up food and definitely keep 
consistent with training and rest. That's gonna be so important. Those are gonna be my three recipes for this off season. Consistency, food, and rest. And those are gonna be like three things. And I think once, honestly, once I master these three, and once food keeps going up, and I keep pushing training, uh, my body will develop a little bit more. Um, again, as always, this is always gonna be the fun part of bodybuilding, the chase, right? Uh, chasing a pump, chasing improvements, and you know, I think as someone like me, someone like you perhaps, that's starting a new journey, um, starting from ground zero is, it's always discouraging, but seeing yourself progress after six weeks, it's it's very rewarding because you really see the hard work showing off and um, I'm hoping to really as I go on you'll I'll show you guys some of my posing videos um, That's it for this week's update tune in for I'm gonna be shooting this weekend for the following week Just to let you guys know how, I, how I've been doing with my tracking with higher macros So I'll put my new macros on the bottom below just so you guys know what I'm hitting at right now Thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.